I'd say three, maybe four flavors. Terraform tool started, like we mentioned, as an open source tool, right? And yeah. that tool was oftentimes used, and it still is today, directly from a developer endpoint or workstation, right? It's kind of like a CLI with a bunch of binaries in it. And it's responsible for taking these Terraform files, these config files, with a handful of other sort of parameters and environment variables and pointing to a specific environment. But as time went on, there were scalability challenges with that. There's also security implications as well course too, where all of the credentials to your dev environment and your prod environment, and they're spread across you know, like your entire engineering workforce, that can get kind of spooky. Your blast radius is kind of huge, right? So HashiCorp realized that you could productionize this. They were probably seeing lots of companies doing it themselves. And so they created two offerings, right? One is enterprise and one is cloud. So Terraform Enterprise and Terraform Cloud. One is a hosted version, like self-hosted. So that's sort of on-prem or on your own cloud. You run all of the compute and make all the configuration choices there. And then the, the cloud version is something that HashiCorp provides where you can and allow them to manage all the infrastructure themselves.